13, 13, lucky number 13. I personally don't think the number 13 is bad luck. We got cute little pairs of mittens, day 13. Ooh, okay, we got another Merlot from Bulgaria. Okay, so I think the last one we did, we had a Riesling from Bulgaria, and now we got a Merlot. All right, they're a pair. Hmm, 12 generations. I feel like this should have been on the 12th day then. This distinctive Merlot is a perfect example of Bulgaria's formidable advances in wine quality. I did not know Bulgaria made wine to begin with, so not a surprise. With a medium body and soft, fresh finish that hints of wild cherries, this Bulgarian red will challenge your preconceptions and beguile you with its unique terroir expression. <laughs> Day 14. Another cute little dog, I think, in the sweater. Day 14. And we got from Spain, a Macabeo, Octopada. Now we got cute little octopus from Spain. We popped from Portugal to Spain. I think this is the first Spanish wine in our wine adventure. And this is a white wine. And it looks like it's an annual calendar favorite. So I'm excited to try it. A rich, deep white wine with a heady, exotic floral bouquet that simply defies description. It shows melon and almond notes on a plump frame with surprising breath and volume. All right, that's me, day 14. 10 more to go. Here we go. Day 15, it looks like we got very cute little ornaments for day 15. Ooh, our first rosé from Italy, Palloncini. I'll love to look it up, but this might mean balloons. Just a guess there. And it's a Sangiovese Merlot. Some of the very best vineyards in Northern Italy are sourced to produce this crisp, fresh, fruity rosé wine. And Italy takes their wine growing seriously so that you can relax and enjoy a tantalizing, pink bursting with red fruit flavors, savory herbs, and a clean, persistent finish. I love this rosé. It's not too pink of a color. Now that is 15 days, nine more to go. This is exciting. Day 16. Oh, okay, well that kind of makes it easy. Day 16, looks like we got some acorns. Okay, we have taken a quick little trip to Greece with this red wine. It's a Syrah, Blue Seirina. I think it means blue mermaid. And it's a blend actually, so it's 55% Gozzifali and 45% Syrah. I only recognize her raw, so I can only imagine that the other half must be another type of red grape. Uh, while the Gozzifali grape might be unfamiliar, yes, the flavor is unmistakably Mediterranean. Dried fruit, herbs, and spice. With a dollop of Syrah added to give structure and complexity, this zesty Greek red is the perfect pairing for hearty stews and similar winter fare. Thank you, Greece, for your blue mermaid. Uh, day 17. Day 17, warm and cozy. Who doesn't love cozy season? All right, we are back in France. And it looks like we did not get this on the 22nd day. What's up, Costco? You gotta follow the numbers. And this is a white wine blend from France, a beautifully vibrant wine from the southwest of France, an area long known not only for some of the world's greatest brandies, but for exciting, crisp, and fruity white wines as well. This got fruity aromas, citrus and green apple notes on the palate, and a brisk, refreshing finish. We got a windmill. We got some hay, I believe, in this little drawing. I wonder why it's called 22. It's not the 22nd day, that's for sure. All right, thank you, France. And moving on, day 18. Yeah, much easier. Oops, I lost the number, but it's a bunny with a beanie. Day 18, there you go. <laughs> Luna Brillante, okay, we had sunlight before and now we have moonlight. Bright moon from Spain. Navarra, Spain, looks like this is a red, another red blend from a Spanish region. It's 40% Tempranillo, 30% Garnacha, and 30% Merlot. 
like a great flamenco dancer, this Spanish red blend is zesty, spicy, and right at home on the tabletop. Made from some of the region's most celebrated grape varieties, it boasts a juicy, exorbitantly fruity taste profile with notes of cherry, red licorice, and spice. You guys, a nice abstract design looking fox, I believe. Moonlight. 18 wines, okay. Five, 10, 15. Day 19, Merry and Bright. Pannonia, we have a white blend from Hungary. Okay, this is our first white wine from Hungary. The vineyards that produce this unique white are grown in one of Hungary's best territories where cool alpine breezes meet the warm, dry inland interior. This attention-grabbing, captivating white blend is fresh and bright with zippy acidity and crisp citrus fruits on the palate. I've never heard a wine be described as zippy acidity, but I have a feeling I'm gonna feel it up here with this wine. Cool, okay, Hungary. Entering in the mix. We got day 20 here. Let it snow. Let it snow for day 20. We have another blend from France, a Grenache and a Syrah. The world's greatest expression of Grenache and Syrah are found in Southern France, where these noble varieties achieve spectacular heights of quality without frills or fuss. This extraordinary red blend is incredibly evocative expressive and very, very easy on the palate. All right, now day 21. Love, peace, joy. Nice. Love, peace, joy. We are back in Portugal for day 21. It is a red blend of all these types of grapes. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that either. Arangonese, Castelao, Alicante, well, blending wines is an art form, one that the Portuguese have mastered after thousands of years of honing their craft. A wine of true soul and character, this unique blend of Portuguese red varieties shows savory dark fruit at its core, with roasted coffee notes on the finish. This is a very dark red. Day 21 from Portugal. Okay, day 22, penguin. I love penguins. Look at this cute little penguin, ready to go ski. Day 22, we got a white. We got a Chardonnay from Spain. I don't think we've had a Chardonnay from Spain yet. Brillo solar, that means bright sun or sunlight. And this cute little bee right there. Make like the Spanish do. Stop for lunch, open up this bottle of this delicious Chardonnay, grab a baguette, ham and butter, and get to work. This creamy, fresh, and fruity white shows ripe melon, apple, and quince notes, and is built for enjoyment, Spanish style. So it looks like this is meant to be paired with some cold cuts or just tapas, light plates. We have a lot of Spain here. I need a, I'm gonna do a count of what, how many Italian, Spanish, French, Argentinian wines we have. Uh oh, lost part of the number. We got beanies for day 23. We have, we are back in South Africa with a West Cape Gold Cab Sauvignon. South Africa's Western Cape region is famous for its ability to ripen grapes slowly and fully, with vineyards bathed in vivid sunlight and refreshed by the Atlantic Ocean's cooling breezes. This classic Cabernet features currant, blackberry, and spice notes on a robust palate. Last but not least, day 24, our silent night. Ooh, oh my gosh. I think I already know what it is. I see a gold foil. And you know what that means? We got a sparkling wine. Brilliant Brut. This French bubbly pours a delicate, ebullient stream of tiny bubbles with a fine bead and straw colored hue. Surprisingly finessed and classically styled, this elegant sparkler finishes crisp, clean, and fresh. Reminiscent of some of the finest sparkling wines in France. Oh my gosh, I am so excited that we finished with a sparkling wine. This is so fun. So not gonna lie, 
I may have miscounted and lost my count somewhere, but I have rearranged the wine bottles so they are back in their traditional order. And sorry that I mixed that up. I will make sure that in the description, all the wines are numbered correctly by the day and all the titles will be there. Here it is, 24 wines. I can't keep my head right now how many countries we've been to in this wine adventure, but I will put the tally up on the screen. These wines look absolutely delicious. I have to say I'm a little disappointed that we didn't visit more countries. There are so many wines that we could have featured from Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, even in the US too. Where was the United States? <laughs> I don't know if the point of the wine adventure was to stick to only to countries outside the US. We could have definitely featured some Sonoma County, some Napa Valley wine, or even Michigan. I'm trying to think or Oregon wines. I'm a little bummed out by that because there's just such an overwhelmingly amount of wines from Portugal, Spain, Italy, and France, which are the old world wines and I'm sure will be absolutely delicious. But definitely still a missed opportunity to include wines from other regions so that people can learn about the new world wines. So in summary, we have Strut King, Chardonnay from Italy, Portrait of a Wallflower, Old World Merlot, Stacks and Stones, the Sauvignon Blanc from France, Volde, the hearty red wine from one of the world's oldest growing regions, Shadow Dance, the Chenin Blanc, Mendoza Nights, the Malbec from Argentina, Castello, Even Steven, Azzimato, the Abruzzo from Italy, the Moat River, the first wine from Bulgaria, Struggling Deep Roots, the Gascony region of France, Odd Couple, the rich white wine from Portugal, the 12 generations, Merlot, Octopada, Paloncini, the one and only rosé in this wine advent calendar, Blue, Seirina, the Greek wine, Vonta, 22, white wine from Southern France, Luna Brillante, Pannonia, wine from Hungary, Champ Sancien, the Grenache and Syrah from France, Acab, Brillo Solar, Chardonnay from Spain, West Cape Gold, Cabernet Sauvignon from South Africa, and lastly, the Brilliant, the Spudly Champagne for Christmas Eve. There you have it. These are the 24 wines inside the 2021 Wine Advent Calendar from Costco. If you managed to find one at Costco this year, let me know what you think of the bottles. And if you weren't lucky to find the box like me, I will make sure to include my small reviews of these wines in YouTube shorts. Thank you so much for watching. Consider liking and subscribing. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and salud.